Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another SLG Meetup. I'm super excited about today's call because we are going to have with us no other than Stewart Campbell. He is the editor-in-chief of Boat International magazine. It's one of the leading magazines in the super yacht industry and we are clearly approaching no other than the For Lauderdale International Boat Show. So super thrilled about everything that goes around this fantastic week where some of the best yachts in the world will be here. And for that, we want to have Stewart to tell us all about what they've been doing with their incredible magazine. There he is. What's going on, Stewart? Hey, Alvaro. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Are you ready for some nice weather here in South Florida? Yeah, I'm bringing lots of sun cream with me. I'm, yeah, I am. I'm looking forward to some sun. It's getting cold here in the UK, so it'll be nice to make a change. What a perfect timing, right? Because you perfect guys are time. where? In Wimbledon, in London? Yeah, the head office is in Wimbledon, but we also have an office in uh, Fort Lauderdale, not far from you. Exactly. And this is where we want to see you, especially for the thrilling and exciting for Lauderdale International Boat Show, which is one of the largest in the world. So it's going to be a lot of things happening, huh? Yeah, we're very excited. I mean, the Fort Lauderdale for us is a great opportunity because it, it is, Monaco has lots of beautiful yachts, but it's an entirely super yacht focused show. Obviously, there's some lovely tenders as well. But Fort Lauderdale has the entire sweep of yachts from smallest to biggest. So it's an exciting opportunity to touch parts of the market that we don't usually see. So I, I, I love the show. It's a great show. Right. And, and you guys are the perfect fit for this because you guys have one of the leading magazines when it comes to yachting and you tell everything about the latest news, the new yachts, the lifestyle, events. So tell us a little bit about Boat International magazine. Well, so Boat International has been around for 40 years and mm -hmm. uh, it's become the kind of leading authority uh, on uh, super yachting and the super yacht lifestyle. It's, it's very hard won. We've got great relationships with the owner community, which is kind of the USP of, uh, of our magazine. But it's not just magazines, of course. We have some great print products. We also do fantastic events with owners, with captains. We have parties mm -hmm. in Monaco, Fort Lauderdale, Miami Grand Prix. Uh, so throughout the year, really. So great events as well. And uh, obviously, digital websites huge. We have a market intelligence platform as well. So we try and... Sorry, my... Uh, my watch is making a funny noise, apologies. But the, <laughs> yeah, we, we try and think about the market holistically. So um, events, digital, data, print, the works. Are you seeing like any upcoming trends that you're trying to jump on when it comes to the magazine? I mean, yeah, I mean, always. What, what, what upcoming, there's lots of change, changing trends in the CPO industry that we try and track and keep in touch with the whole time, really. And lots of them will be, uh, on show at the uh, at the Fort Lauderdale event, like yeah, with with print, print is a slightly slow moving beast. It doesn't tend to change, but we try and be pretty dynamic with our products. Uh, but digitally, obviously, and on the market intelligence front, we're changing all the time, which is uh, which is very interesting for us. So, how do you get all this latest news? Are you always seeking on what's going on, or they come directly to you? You're traveling, like how do you get these amazing? new stories and all the yachts that are coming to the market and, and so on. Well, it, I mean, we, we have a good, we've been quite a big team. We have a great team and they're traveling constantly. So um, we're very lucky with our content suppliers here. There's a lot of people in the team. So, you know, Monaco, we'll have a big team at Fort Lauderdale. We had 30, 40 people, I think, something crazy at Monaco. Uh, lots of people at Fort Lauderdale and the Miami and Palm Beach boat shows next year as well. So we are traveling constantly, which is the only way to keep in touch with everything that's happening in this industry. Got you. What's been something that you've seen recently that your audience feels that, wow, and you've seen the most engagement? Well, I mean, what, we're very lucky because we are able to access some of the most inaccessible super yachts in the world. Um, and we do that. Uh, we are able to do that because we have this kind of 40 year authority and history and credibility. So, um, through the magazine and through the website, we're able to uh, yeah, bring stories that would never otherwise be told. Mm -hmm. No, I think that's fantastic. And definitely, I gotta say, are you also 
creating like a are you big on youtube we could be bigger on youtube we are growing youtube but um but we when we do video we try to make it more a bit more involved in long form we don't tend to do uh um kind of walk through videos we're much more we're much better on social for that we've got a great social media team mm -hmm. um who again will be out in fort lauderdale bringing lots of your content to our audience tell me a little bit about the event because you're also hosting events and doing these amazing experiences. So what is it about? Well, the biggest event we do is called the World Super Yacht Awards. And that's happening in Istanbul in May 2023. So the, the World Super Yacht Awards are kind of like the Oscars of super yachting, right? So they are judged by super yacht owners. We have a panel of 25 super yacht owners. And they visit uh, 60 or 70 nominated boats. They then have a meeting where they sit together for a day and a half, kind of deliberating and discussing, debating, sometimes fighting about which boats they want. They think are the best in their particular category. Uh, and then the boats are awarded uh, Neptune trophies, which is kind of our Oscar uh, at the World Super Awards every year. And they really matter, these awards, because no other awards program in yachting or super yachting is judged by super yacht owners so it's a peer judged process which why which is why it really matters so your life tell me about you Stewart, because you're the editor-in-chief you obviously oversee the whole you know components of, of the information that it's put out there so what's your your day look like well that, that's the great joy of this job really there is no there is no ordinary day in fact someone asked me this question the other day and i, I honestly couldn't tell them what a normal day was like at boat international because it's changing all the time you know we We've got, a, we've got a great team here. I'm so lucky to work with some amazing professionals. And so uh, I kind of inter interact with like the events team, the commercial team, the digital team, the content team. You know, it might be flying to uh, the south of France to present an event and then go see a boat or have lunch with an owner or work on a new event strategy. I mean, it is a whole, uh, yeah, it's a constantly moving fluid peak, fluid picture which is why i find it uh so interesting what's been the hardest part you'll say for yourself and the business and what did you learn from it oh it's a really good question i mean the hardest part in the last couple of years was obviously covid when a big part of your business is running events and then obviously in 2020 there are no events it was a real challenging uh couple of years uh, for everyone in our industry um, except, uh, you know, on the media and the events side. So we had to change quite dramatically and be very uh, creative in uh, 2020 and 2021 to overcome the challenges of COVID and how to, you know, run virtual events and uh, still maintain a revenue whilst you can't do physical events. Um, but we're very lucky, again, to have a brilliant team and we did overcome those challenges and we brought new content, we invented new things, we started doing podcasts, we started doing different kind of video interviews and things like that. We got much more active on social, started doing a lot more Instagram lives. So there's a whole, we just tried to rethink how we engage with our audience. So no, well done. I mean, I'm a big fan of what you've been doing is phenomenal and definitely I look forward to seeing more of that involvement. Now, I wanted to ask you about the word luxury, right? Like you're sure. always looking at these beautiful yachts and the lifestyle that it offers. But what is really luxury to you? Luxury to me and to a lot of the people that I interact with through the magazine is simply time and space. I mean, um, particularly for the owners of the boats, I mean, they are the busiest people in the world. They're the most in-demand people in the world. They're getting thousands of emails, phone calls. Everyone wants a piece of them. So if, if they are able to take they, themselves and their families away from the craziness and the madness, even for a short space of time, that is real luxury. It's not a handbag, it's not a car, it's not a private jet. Although those are very nice, they're lovely parts of the lifestyle, but simply having the time to spend away from maybe sometimes technology or the phone or the emails and just having that raw, pure family experience on a super yacht um, is um, a genuine, unadulterated luxury time. <laughs> I agree. So time, time, is time is everything. So that's the, the new luxury, right? No, I love that. Now, with your career and all the things that you've been working on, what would you say has been the biggest lesson that you've learned? Well, the biggest lesson I've learned is consistency and quality, making sure you have a forensic eye for detail, never 
second guessing or you know i think particularly with the soup yacht world making sure you know as many of the end users and the owners as possible because only then can you really know their wants and needs and what they want from a media brand and events and things like that so in this particular space it's networking 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 meeting as many of the owners as you possibly can getting your brand in front of people and really getting that kind of feedback so you understand them and their lives because before getting into the super yacht world you can guess at what they want uh, but until you actually get to know them and realize they're just normal people <laughs> who yeah. uh who simply just want a bit of family time as well uh that's you know it's really not as, any more complicated than that and so get get really understanding that and being able to deliver content that really needs uh, that suits them is, uh, it's been a big learning I love that, you know, the consistency, the networking, the getting out there, because that's really how you brand yourself. You were able to put your, this company from not being well known to all of a sudden be one of the leading authorities when it comes to the yachting industry. And that's through consistency and a lot of work, but also by getting out there. So yeah, yeah and it's no other way, question. right? There's no other way. Every, every, I like to say everywhere you'll find a super, you'll, you'll find Boat International. And, you know, it, it, you know, it's a massive investment on the on behalf of the company. We've got to have people everywhere there's any super activity. It's the only way you can maintain that consistency of quality and have that feedback that I was talking about and understanding what, you know, these, it, and a new generation of owners too. There's lots of new people coming out into our industry. A new model, yeah. Like, because they want lots of different things and you have to you have to find that out from the source or else you're lost absolutely what's next for board international well well i mean 2023 is going to be huge i mean we're doing more events in 2023 than we've ever done before uh, so that's very exciting in uh, we've got a couple of events to close out 2022 then in february 2023 we're up in cortina in italy in the mountains at a big design Ooh. festival great networking event You'd love it, Alvaro. You'd be very welcome to come and experience it for yourself. Thank you. Yeah. Um, then uh, we have a couple of other. We do uh, ocean conservation events in June. We have the World Superior Awards in uh, in May, which is huge. We have a big party in the Hamptons in uh, the summer. Um, and then, obviously, then you roll into boat show season. It all goes crazy again. So it's, it's utterly relentless, the event schedule, wow. the print schedule, the digital schedule. It's... It's um, uh, very demanding of your time, but uh, I wouldn't do it if I didn't love it. Right. No, again, it's about creating a business that fuels your passion. And if you have passion for what you're doing, that means that you're in the right direction. So I, I love exactly. everything that I'm hearing because it seems like, you know, you keep on evolving and events also is just a way of bringing the right people to you rather than you having to go to where the people are which is a very genius way. And you're already attracting the best of the best because of the credibility that you've built over the years and the exposure that you bring as well, which is fantastic. Attention is one of the strongest currencies. So everybody wants that attention that you generate. So well done. Thank you. Thank you. And we, like, we, have, a, we have a brilliant events team here. And the fact that we've got, so the, they're, not, they're the hardest to reach people in the world, but also the most, like I said, in demand people. That's just, and the, not, that's not what the owners. I mean, the designers, the shipyards, the CEOs, all these people, you know, every five minutes matters. So when you're able to bring that quality of people to an event and entertain them and to see them smile and enjoying themselves and networking freely and having a good time, that is, that is a, a real joy for us. And being able to provide that platform is, um, is a true. Absolutely. Well, listen, all I get to say, Stuart, is that congratulations what you've done is amazing and your team as well. So all I can see is the successes that are still going to come your way with everything that you have lined up ahead. And I cannot wait to see you in a couple of weeks here in the show. Obviously, you're more than welcome to come to our event that we're hosting on the 26th. And it's going to be a lot of fun. And definitely Board International needs to be part of this. <laughs> That's very kind, Avar. I'm looking forward to it. The, the boat you're hosting it on, I know very well. And I'm um, I'm uh, looking forward to meeting you in person and, um, yeah, and learning as well. I mean, uh, I think uh, it'll be a great way to kick off the boat show. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Stuart. Enjoy the chilly weather in the UK. And <laughs> we wait for you here in the Sunshine State with the open arms. Thanks, Alvaro. Uh, I will see you very, very soon.